Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to tap into an endless reservoir of amazing chord voicings. With one simple exercise, you can double, triple, and quadruple your available chord voicings vocabulary. I also prepared a PDF for you guys with some of my favorite and most useful chord voicings. And the PDF is completely free. Just click on the link in the description below, download the PDF, and start practicing. So, chord voicings. It's one thing knowing a couple of awesome chord voicings, but it's another thing being able to go find new ones whenever you want. So sure, I'll give you the free PDF with some of my voicings, but much more importantly, I'll show you a method through which you can go and find your own voicings. But before we get into it, very quickly, for those of you who asked about Skype lessons, you can reach me at Instagram at Rustland Piano and on Facebook, facebook.com slash Rustland Music. Or you can leave a comment down here and I'll reach out to you myself. Okay, so chord voicings, what's the method? So, just like lines can be treated as shapes and moved around inside chord scales, so too chords can be treated as shapes and moved around inside chord scales. Take a shape, figure out what the chord scale is and move it within that chord scale. Let's take this voicing. What's the chord scale? Ionian. Those are the available notes in which we can move this shape around. Okay, well let's start moving it around and see what awesome new voicings we end up with. What happens if we raise each one of these notes one step up in the chord scale? Right, so this goes here, this goes here, this goes here, this goes here. So, oh, nice. So, see how I arrived at this voicing? By raising every one of the notes in the voicing I know, one step up within the appropriate chord scale. What happens if we keep moving it around? Move it up again in the chord scale. Nice. Move it up again. Yeah. Move it up again. Nice. And we're back. Wow. I only knew about this. I didn't know about this. Or about this. Or about this. Or about this. Or this. Or this. I only knew about this. But with this method of taking a shape I know and moving it around like this, I discovered a bunch of new voicings that I had no idea exist. And they sound awesome. Yeah. Now let's try another example. Let's try a C minor voicing. I like this one a lot. That's a C minor voicing. So what's the chord scale of this voicing? By the way, guys, you have to know how to find chord scales for voicings. That's a prerequisite without which you can't really do any of this work. You have to have your chord scales together. If I play this chord, you have to be able to know that this is C minor Aeolian, right? The reason you need to know what chord scale this is from because you need to know what notes are available for you to be moving the shape inside of. So you could confine the shape to those notes and not stray from those notes. So let's confine this shape to the Aeolian chord scale and see what chords we come up with. So let's see. This has to go one step up in the chord scale. What's up from here in C minor Aeolian? This. What's up from here? This. What's up from here in C minor Aeolian? This. So. Oh, okay, so. Cool. Let's keep going. Each one of these has to go one step up within the C minor Aeolian chord scale. So what is one step up from here? This. What's one step up from here? This. What's one step up from here? This. So. Oh, I see. Oh, let's keep going. One more step up in the chord scale. Oh, wow, that's a sharp sound. A 
again. came from this one it's the only one I started from and all I did is I moved this same chord shape around within the confines of the notes of C minor Aeolian and I ended up with a lot more voicings that I knew going in and this can be done to any chord voicing you could take any voicing and confine it to any chord scale and you'll always end up with a bunch of awesome awesome chord voicings that you had no idea existed before you see what I'm doing, right? I decided on the shape, I figured out the chord scale, and I'm moving that shape inside the chord scale. That's the method. So all you need now is to take the chords that you really love and start moving those voicings around in their respective chord scale and see how you come up with a bunch of awesome voicings you didn't even know existed before in the exact same way that I just did. Let's try another example. Let's take this A minor major seven chord. I like a lot. A cool voicing. So, okay, so what's the first question we have to ask? What is the chord scale here? This is it. Those are the notes available to us within which we can move this chord shape around. And we cannot stray from these notes. Only these notes are available to us because these are the notes from the chord scale in which that chord resides. Okay, so let's start moving it around. So beautiful. And you see, I had no idea these voicings exist. I only knew about this one. And all of a sudden, because of this one voicing, I know these bunch of other ones and they're all beautiful and now I have the chance to go practice them separately. So not all the voicings you're gonna discover this way are going to be equally beautiful to you, but certainly some of them will be. And those are the ones you wanna keep for yourself and add them to your vocabulary for you to use for the rest of your life. So one more time, this is the original voicing. This is the chord scale. That's the chord scale. So, okay, let's move this voicing around within that chord scale. See what I'm doing? I found the shape I like. I found what the chord scale is and I started moving the shape in the chord scale. Let's try one last example. Here's a C7 chord I like. It's a C sus almost, right? Like one, 13, seven, nine. So what's the chord scale? Mixolydian, C mixolydian. Let's see, if we move this up. Okay. So as you can see, this method unlocks endless possibilities. And if that's not enough, you can take any of these shapes and confine them to different chord scales. So for example, remember this one from the beginning of the video? And we moved it around like this within the C major Ionian scale, right? We could decide that we're gonna keep the same shape and confine it to Aeolian, which is like a minor. So all of a sudden, this major third would become a minor third. And this major six would become a minor six, so. So you see, not only can you move these shapes around the chord scale they're from, 
you could take the shape and decide that you want to confine it to some other chord scale. Let's do it in Lydian instead of this. We'll do this. See, all of a sudden we change the shape to Lydian instead of four, it becomes raised four. And now we can find the shape to the Lydian scale. So, as you can see, this is an endless source of new voicings for you to explore. Yes, you have to start from somewhere. You have to have an initial first shape that you're working with. But I'm sure most of you have a couple chords you know and like. And you can start there. Or you could check out a bunch of chords from my free PDF that I created for you that you can download right now for free by clicking the link in the description below. The possibilities are endless once you understand the method. Take a shape, figure out what the chord scale is, and move it within that chord scale. Or take a shape, decide what chord scale you want to adjust it to and confine it to, and then make changes within the shape so it fits the new chord scale you want to work with, and then move that shape within your new chord scale. And I've demonstrated how to do both of those things in this video. That's about it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I make a lot of content like this. So if you're into it, hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you hit that notification bell down below so that every time I make a video like this, you'll be the first one to know about it. What are some of your favorite chord voicings? And what are some ways that you use to find some new ones? Do you transcribe? Do you just kind of figure them out for yourself? Is there some other method you might be using to find new chords? Please share your tips with me in the comment section below and maybe I'll learn something new myself. Thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Thank you.